So in the Bible, we have the story of Jacob wrestling with the angel. Or was it angels? I don't know. I haven't actually looked at the story recently. It's just been on my mind. Probably I should have read it before making a video about it. But anyway, <clears throat> be that as it may. I think what's interesting about the story is, uh, okay, so he wrestles with the angel over throughout the night. And then he's given, given the name Israel, you know, which means wrestling with God. And I think that's, I mean, I think that's a big part of, of what we do, what we, what we should do ideally is, is contend with the concepts of God, okay, of reality, you know, ultimate reality, just thinking about these things. I, so I come from a, uh, a background of uh, Buddhism. You know, I was a Buddhist for 20 years. And in Buddhism, so I, I want to talk specifically about considering the, the creation myth, uh, creation story. Okay, myth sounds derogatory, but I don't really mean that in a derogatory way, of course. Um, but the creation story that's in various, you know, various, most religions have some sort of a creation story, right? And um, it occurs to me that it's this important, it's an important component. And I, I didn't, I, it basically because I've been struggling with, I've been contending with the creation story that's in uh, Corpus Hermeticum book one. And I'm not going to go into any, any detail about it here. I just, just want to talk about, about just the struggle because I think maybe that's the point. I don't want a correction. That's not the point. That is a point that I think it serves two purposes. I think I think creation stories serve serve basically two purposes. One is as a you know laying the foundations, you know, what the foundational truths of that are, that are being expressed by this by a religion. Okay, I think we definitely see that in Corpus Hermeticum one uh, a lot more so than other religions because I mean it draws direct lines in that book from here's how the universe began to here's how you should behave. And it's, it's, it's like, you know, it's all in there, right? So, it, so it basically, it, it makes it very clear that this is, this, this is like the foundation of why we do the things we do. So, okay. So that's, so that's, an, uh, you know, that's an important part you now. Uh, you know, in philosophy or in, in logic, you'd have to start with, you know, what are the basic, what are the basic axioms, you know, A equals A, you know, that kind of thing, right? Okay, so it, 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 it serves that function, but I think it serves another function too, and that is that the act of wrestling with those concepts puts our minds in a certain place, just, just the exercising our minds and trying to contemplate these, these ideas does something to us. Just, just the fact of the contemplation, just, just, the, just the struggling. So just the act of wrestling, you know, strengthens those muscles, if you will, you know? And I never really thought about that because like I said, I came from a Buddhist background and in, in Buddhism, you know, when the Buddha was asked questions about, well, where, you know, where does the universe come from? Where does, you know, what's the, what's the nature, blah, blah, blah. He just said, well, those are not important questions. Yeah, he said, these are not questions that tend to edification. And he focused on, look, <sighs> like let's, let's focus on the here and now. Uh, we're suffering. This is how you end suffering. Uh, all those other things don't matter, right? I don't think that's true anymore. Um, I think those things do matter. 
And I think thinking about those things matter. Because uh, like I said, it's a, it's a, it's a foundational truth, but also it's, uh, it, builds, it builds something in our minds and our psyches. You know, it puts our minds in a different place. When we start thinking about these, these ideas, it is, it, is a, it is a mystical experience in itself, just, just the contemplation of these, of these things. And book one is like, if you really like dive into it and really try to think about like, what the hell is it saying? Yeah, I just, I just noticed from doing that as like, you know, kind of look at things a little bit differently. Just, just, just from the act of, of struggling with the stuff, you know? So, uh, so yeah, I think that in itself is important. So, you know, go out there and wrestle with God. <laughs>